Hey guys, today I want to show you how to remove the Google account on a um, Galaxy Prime or Samsung Prime. So uh, here's what you got to do. Um, first of all, we're going to go to emergency call right here. And we're going to press 1, 1, 2. We're going to put those numbers in. Then what you're going to do, you're going to dial that numbers. And um, you got to do it quick. You got to see what I do here. So we're going to press the green button there, the speaker. And then we're going to have to start going like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a wrong number. Okay, have a good night. Thank you. So the 911 will come up. Um, you, if you can, you know, um, hang up before they come up because they have a lot to do. I don't like to bother them. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Chrome right here. So click on Chrome. You got to be connected to the Wi-Fi before we do any of this. So we're going to hit accept. No thanks. All right. So we're here. We're going to go there. And we're going to go to Google.com. Let's type in Google. All right. So we can do the search here. So now you're going to type in Samsung Apps. All right, we do the search for Samsung Apps. We're going to go down. And you want to choose the second link. You choose the second link, we go there. And you're gonna, it's going to take you to this page right here. We're going to go down. We're going to scroll down to the Galaxy apps right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. Go to Galaxy apps. We're going to go there. You do need a uh, Samsung account to download apps from, from here. So if you don't have one, um, it's easy to... Uh, create one so okay we're gonna go to galaxy apps it won't it uh, it's telling me i have to update i don't want to do that right now but i guess I'm, i guess i'm gonna have to let me do that i'm gonna stop the video here i'm gonna do the updates on the on this and then i'll uh, come back to you guys so i did the updates guys so uh, let me see if i can get in the in the apps now All right. All right. So this is the page you want to go to. We're going to type in ES file explorer right there, the one on top. And we're going to download the second one on the list. All right, we download the second one on the list. Okay, here you need your Samsung account. So I'm going to sign in and uh, I'm going to come right back to you guys. All right, guys, it's downloading now. Um, it's installing now, so I'll show you what to do next. And um, I'm going to have a link on there for you guys so you can download the what you need to unlock the phone so so what we're going to do now is hit the play here the play uh, icon here and it's going to take us to the to the files right here that's where we want to be so what i have in there now is my sd card with all the files i need it's going to be on, on the link below so you can download it too so right here, we're going to go to local and we're going to look for um, the SD card, which I don't see it here. So let me get that taken care of and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so after you finish with the Samsung downloads, you're going to have to go back. Just go back to Google and type in Google Account Manager. And you're going to go to uh, the third option right here and click on that. And you're going to go to the download option here. And you're going to you're going to see the download. Just download it from there. And then you got to go back to Google again and you're going to click you're going to type in quick shortcut maker APK. So and you're going to choose the second or third option right there. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to download right here. And it's downloading now, so I'm going to use the ES download that I already download. I'm going to open the folder here. And you're going to see right here, I got the, I got the uh, quick shortcut. We're going to do that one now. We're going to install it. Okay, we're going to go to settings gonna go up we're gonna choose to uh, allow unknown sources and we're gonna install the quick shortcut you going to open all right here we're gonna type in um, Google account manager you're gonna see it right there I'm gonna bring my keyboard down so you can see what we're doing okay right here we're gonna to go to uh, type email and password you're gonna you, I don't know if you can see it there I hope you can see it type email and password we're gonna to go to try right here we're gonna click on the three dots on top and we're gonna go into browser sign in all right, we go to browser sign in there. So right here, what you got to do is just log in with your account, you know, your own Google account. And I'm going to pause the video here to log in. Okay, guys, so it's going to take you back to this screen right here. Right now, the only thing you got to do is go all the way back to the, to the setup page. You're going to go all the way back. You got to hit that button like 10 times. Okay, so you got to go to this page and just do the uh, regular setup here. All right, connect. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, so it's supposed to be. And as you can see, it's checking for connection. Um, let's see how long it's gonna take. I don't have. I only got like two minutes, less than two minutes left, so. I'm going to pause the video here until I get the next screen. All right, guys. So this is the screen you're going to get. I'm going to hit next. And this might take a little bit of time too. So, oh, no, it didn't. Okay. So let's skip that. Skip anyways. Let me see if I got enough time to do the whole setup. All right. Let's hit next. And finish the setup. So setup is complete. You're in the phone, so that's all you gotta do, guys. Um, if you like this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.